Hello and welcome to my Magma tutorial. I would like to show you how to kickstart your Magma industry. For this I will show you how to build Magma Forges and Magma Smelters and how to how to fuel them with energy. Uh, for a Magma Smelter you need a lava source. In this case it's I found a volcano on a back location and you need your workshops and you need a tunnel system where the lava is for fueling your workshop so let me show how to channel in this in this set level z level to make sure that the magma smelters and forges will get magma energy first of all you click on digging orders or hotkey m and then you click on dig a channel or hotkey u and for here will be the smelters. Here is the place for for, for uh, forges. The smelters uh, smelter need one magma source. The forge needs two magma source. This here is the explanation how to channel correct. Okay, let's channel here and here and here and here. So we will have four workshops here. Let's channel here and here and here and here. So we will have eight workshops. And this will be the ninth, and this place will be for uh, um, for a bird furnace, food furnace. I need. We will need steel. If you if you would like to produce steel, we will need coal and flagstone. And let's channel the energy energy spots for the magma forges here and here. So we need two, like you see here on the left side. So let's unpause the game and here and here and here and here. And the game slows a little bit. Okay, now as long as the miner are working, we need to create some mechanism as we, we need to control the lava flow. We need to create mechanism. We need to create Gabro mechanism because Gabro is a magma safe stone. Here on the left you see the list with magma safe stones. And in the stone workers workshop we have to create four floodgates. We will need four floodgates to create our magma flow. Also all of them from Gabro. And we also need two hatch covers. Hatch covers are doors for staircases. Also from to make sure that we do not flood, flood in any case our fortress with lava or magma. Okay, the, the miners have created, have digged. Now we have connect the spots so the, we can finish our tunnel system. I will dig a little bit to the right. Uh, for the case, if I would like later to add more magma forges, I can stop here the magma flow with a floodgate and create here on the left, on the right side, create here another room for my magma forges. And I will do the same for the smelters. And So the same is for the top, so we can add, uh, so we, we will stop the flood, uh, the magma flow with a flood gate. Let's connect them, we need to make sure that our miner can leave, leave the spot, okay, and now, so this will our magma tool system, we have to dig here to make sure that the magma flow starts from the lava sea here through this spot and fill all everything it will be a little bit tricky because it can happen that the magma is faster than my dwarf and will burn him um, so in for this case we need to choose the more agile miner and also need, uh, let's remove all the staircases and also these 
and we also we have to dig out a control room for our floodgates with a free mul to free multiply by two so this will be our control room for the levers of visible control room for the levers to con control the floodgates let's also build the first floodgates um, flood case you will, you will find it under machines flights fluids place it here and also place one here and also place one let's say okay let's say we place it here in the meantime where our mine miner okay one of one of them is sleeping So hope that the dwarves, my dwarves produced enough mechanism to create the levers. So this control room is fi completed nearly. So let's build the levers. You will can find levers under machine fluids. My dwarves have completed all the levers, so let's connect uh, first link lever to this one. Link lever to the top one. Oh, no. Link lever to this top one. Link lever to this bottom one. And let's create a floodgate here. And let our dwarfs work. We'll see us in a few seconds. So all the levers, all the four levels are connected to my floodgate. So we, I also pulled them. So you see, everyone is open. Let's close. Um, Let's close this north and eastern one. We need only with and with we open and also don't forget to build a hatch cover over this staircase to make sure if we we are we are a little bit slow so the magma won't flood our car our fort. Okay now all, all our floodgates are connected to the lever. Both levers are uh, floodgates are closed. Now comes the tricky part. We need to dig out this place and let's cross the fingers <laughs> that the lava won't smelt our miner. Okay, great, it worked. So the miner digged this, this, this place here out. Well, we have a quite strong pressure on the lava because it's... it's it's a quite uh, strong pressure here and now we have to be fast and pull this lever to make sure that this floodgate will close let's see what will happen so the magma is fast that's not a big issue at the moment because it's not high okay the, the floodgate is now closed we have only one level of magma two levels of magma here it will cool out quite soon now let's start to build the workshops uh, i think an interest interesting point is the workshops will only work as if the magma if the level of the magma is at least five you can see here on the top right magma level it's now four five from seven four from seven so in if it reaches five from seven the magma workshop have enough energy and will start working without any other source so it will be soon now let's build the 
furnaces. These will start with a magma glass furnace, so we can build create build uh, glass from or create glass from sand. And let's also build a magma kiln for our pottery. So the rest will be magma forges, magma smelters. Sorry. Every, and everything is, has to be built by from Gaboron to make sure that the workshops are not burned down. Okay, so I will build all these smelters here. Let's see. It's level 2. It's okay. Let's build one. We can build only one magma forge because for our magma forge we need a steel anvil. And we have only one steel anvil. So we can build at this moment only one magma forge, but it's not a big deal. As we can start our magma industry now and we will have a lot of steel in no time. For steel you need coal, two iron and a one pick iron. So let's see, we'll, it will take a few moments to fill up the magma here, the lava in the tunnels. But it looks like that our magma forges are already working, so let's give them something to do. Here we will like to smelt a galena ore, it will make, I think, lead and silver. Let's give it them the task to make gunnerite. Gunnerite, I think, is zinc, I'm not sure. Uh, let's give them the task to make coal. Here we will smelt, we need iron, and here we will smelt hematite, it's an iron ore. And I think we I saw also gold, so let's give them the order to smelt gold. Let's see what our dwarves will do now. Do we don't have where is our again iron mace and iron mace? And iron short circuit. No. So we have an iron bar, and he will create a maze now. And don't forget to close to pull this lever to close the last flood kit as we have now enough magma here in our magma tunnel system and voila we have created our first maze and now uh, he will create a second maze and then a short sword and so forth and so on and you see the magma industry is working and you will save a lot of time as you don't have to make to spend coal on smelting and forging stuff so it's a really really great thing to have a magma industry work, uh, working yes so I hope you had some fun with me and you now know how to build your magma industry and I wish you a lot of fun with Dwarf Fortress and maybe we will maybe you will see soon some more of my videos and if you enjoyed it please leave a commenter or like it and i wish you a great day